You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring the scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Chedete pantes, ego imi iese, ke tu toestin zon elenisti. Hello, everyone. I'm Jesse Orloff, and this is Living in Greek. In the last episodes of this segment, we read uh, a portion of the first chapter of Mark, and then in uh, the last episode specifically, we drilled down into two verses, and we asked some simple grammatical questions about those verses. In uh, the last episode, we learned four new grammatical terms. Uh, those grammatical terms are to ipokimenon, which refers to the subject of a sentence. We learned ostichos, which is a verse or a line of poetry. We learned a phrasis, which is a phrase or a sentence. And finally, we learned to rema, which is the verb of a sentence. In this episode, I want to use some, I want to review those words again or use those words again. And I also wanted to add one new word to the mix. The word that we're going to add today is to epigenemenon. To epigenemenon, which is the predicate. Uh, and a predicate, if, if you don't know what that is, is the portion of a sentence that comes after a to be verb, or it would come after imi or e or estin. And uh, you know that that part would also typically be in the nominative case with the subject, but it would be called the predicate. And in Greek, we call that to epigenemenon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull up our passage. All right, so I've got it open here in Logos, and you can see the two verses highlighted that we're going to read. I'm going to go ahead and read those, and then I'm going to dive in to, um, to talking in Greek and asking some questions there using our grammatical terms again. Ke ekediusen legon erkete o iskiroteros mu o pisom mu, u uk imi ikanos kiupsas liuse ton imanta ton ipodematon avtu. Ke, ke phone e yeneto ek ton uranon, siu i o iosmu o agapetos, en siu evdokesa. Proton vlepomen is ton evdomon stichon. Anagnosome to evdomon stichon palin. Ke ekedusen legon. Erkete o iskirote rosmu o pisomu, u uk imi ikanos kiupsas liuse ton imanta ton ipodematon avtu. En tavte te frasi, ti estin to ipokimenon. To ipokimenon, en tavte te frasi, estin Ioannes, apo tu ectu stihu. Vlep, uh, vlepson. Ke entavte te frasi, ti estin to rema. To rema estin ekediusen. Entavte te frasi, legon estin Ioannes, ke ti legi. Legi o Ioannes, Erkete o iskirote rosmu o pisomu, u uk imi ikanos kiupsas liuse ton imanta ton ipodematon avtu. O te legi o Ioannes, o ti u uk imi ikanos kiupsas liuse ton imanta ton ipodematon avtu, Ti estin to ipokimenon. To ipokimenon estin ego. Os estin Ioannes. 
to rema estim imi. To un epi yegene menon i canos estim. To rema imi echi epi yegene menon. Que to epi yegene menon estim i canos. Alo epi yegene menon estin ento endecato stijo. Anagnosome tuton palin. Que fone e yeneto ec ton uranon. Siu i o iosmu o agapetos en siu evdokesa. En tafte te frasi to rema estin i. Que to epigigene menon ti estin. To epigigene menon estin o uios. To rema estin i que to epigigene menon o uios estin. All right, so that is what I wanted to cover in this segment. Let me stop sharing and then I'll review what we covered here. We reviewed four grammatical terms that we learned in the last segment. Those four grammatical terms were to upokimenon, which is the subject, ostichos, which is the verse or a line, a phrasis is a phrase or a sentence, and to rema is the verb. But in this segment, we also learned one new grammatical term, which was to epigenemenon, which is the predicate. And a reminder, the predicate is what comes after the verb, specifically what comes after a to be verb, such as imi, e, estin. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glow's House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glowsahouse.com today. Glow's House, language resources for the global community.